Hello guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be taking a look at my June MLB Power Rankings. going to be a little bit different this time because I kind of already was in the middle of recording this video and then my computer decided to restart and then it corrupted the original image, the original video file, and so everything's already in place, but we will go through and discuss each reason why these teams are in their tiers. And it doesn't matter like where the order within the tier, it's because doesn't really matter too too much so let's go ahead and first talk about the tiers we got world series favorites pretty obvious teams are favored to win the world series division like teams are expected to make a deep playoff run but not like at that high level yet while your division is bad the only reason why you're even in contention right now is because your division is just the worst wild card contention teams that are clearly in the mix for the wild card round be a, still good teams but not really up there with the favorites going on then you got trash your generic kind of bad team then ultimate trash for the absolute worst dreads of the league and you should be embarrassed by the product you put out on the field and you know what team you are you do and you do because the list is already up here so before we get into discussing the teams i just like to ask you guys to please like comment and subscribe to the channel i try to upload about twice a week once we have the weekly Milwaukee Brewer recap, recap and like a generic baseball news, power rankings, or long form video. The other point of the week. And so, let us get started with the World Series contenders. Right now, I have the Tampa Bay Rays, who have the best record in baseball. The Texas Rangers, who have the second best record in baseball and currently leading to AL West behind some really, really good hitting. And the Atlanta Braves, who have a lot of postseason experience and are tied for the best record in MLB as the World Series favorites, and those are just the reason why. Tampa Bay has been fantastic. Texas has been really, really strong. They were kind of a boomer bust team, and they have boomed so far, even with Jacob deGrom going down for the season with the injury. And Atlanta has just been chugging along, keep doing what they've been doing with that really good core. Sean Murphy has been a fantastic ad for them at the catcher position. And so they're just doing what they're doing. Teams in the division tier right now, Baltimore Orioles and Arizona Diamondbacks. The only reason why Baltimore is here and not leading the division is because Tampa Bay is off to one of the best starts in baseball right now. They have been really, really good. Their young hitting core has been fantastic. Pitching is still a little shaky, but they're getting the job done, and their bullpen is just pure nasty. So that's what's been going on there. And then Arizona, they have just been surprisingly good. Their young guys, especially Corbin Carroll, have been paying off. Zach Gallen has been straight up nasty as a pitcher. I saw what he did to my Milwaukee Brewers about a month ago. And, yeah, he's the real deal. And so the reason why these teams aren't necessarily up there in World Series contender is because they're just a little too young, a little too inexperienced. And so they need it about a year or two before to be in true World Series contender. And then we got these three. Pittsburgh Pirates, Milwaukee Brewers, and Minnesota Twins. The only reason why these teams are in playoff contention or leading their division is because the rest of their divisions are garbage. Minnesota is at 500. The only team in their division at 500, and they're winning it. Yuck. And then the Pirates and Brewers are both barely above 500. And the only reason why they're not being spanked in the division race is because everyone else in that division sucks. As you see in trash here, they're all three of the remaining NL Central teams are in there. And three of the AL Central teams are there are in trash here. And the other one is an ultimate trash tier. So the only reason why these teams are sniffing the playoffs is because of the rest of the division is just awful. The wild card contention, these are just really good solid teams competing for a wild card. Some you expect to be around there, some are surprising. The Dodgers, the Yankees, the Astros, the Blue Jays are all kind of like who you expect to be competing for these wild card spots. But some of the surprising ones is Houston. Um, you expect them to be more division leader tier, which is where the Rangers are at right now. But you can go from there. Um, Miami has been a really big surprise. Luis Arias is currently hunting down 400 as a batting average. It hasn't been done since uh, I don't even know who was the last one who did it. Ted Williams did. Ted Williams. I, I should know that. And then, so the Marlins have been doing pretty good there. Angels have been pretty steady between the star power of Trout and Otani. Um, Boston is there just because, like, 
they're not really in trash, but not really contenders. So I just put them in contenders. And San Francisco is only a half game back at the last wild card spot in the NL. So they've been playing very, very well. And then all these teams are trash. Some of these teams you expect to be like Washington, Colorado, Chicago White Sox, the Cubs, the Reds, the Tigers. But some of the surprising ones like are these were all playoff teams last year. The Mets, the pennant winning Phillies, the division winning Guardians from last year, San Diego, Seattle, St. Louis. All these teams have struggled so far this year and are below 500 and multiple games back in the playoff race so who knows what's going on with these teams and they might be able to put it back together they might not we'll see be interesting to see what happens in the next few months and then we get our two teams of ultimate trash these teams have been there since the beginning the kansas city royals and oakland a's i mean these teams are just awful even with the a's sweeping the brewers they're still the worst team in baseball and they might not even be able to be moved to vegas which will be really really funny but this is what my thoughts on the current MLB landscape right now. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.